Okay, I'm trying my hat different. So anyway, this is Insrox9 and you're watching Daily Rambles. So welcome back to my channel. And we're going to be doing Pokemon today and we're doing the episode Hypno's Nap Time. I just want to try something different, so we're doing that. <laughs> so, um, we're, uh, so basically Ash and the gang are lost in a new city, which is no surprise because they love to get lost. <laughs> and uh, basically a lady comes flying towards Ash and confuses him with his son, Arnold. So the kid is missing, it's been three days since he's been missing. And basically, we found out there's a lot of, lots of kids that are missing, actually. And so Jenny talks to them, and then we have Brock is crushing her, as usual. And then Ash says he would help, and asks kids in their story about the missing kids. And then, also, the Pokemon at the Pokemon Center are also acting very weird. And it also happened three days ago. And basically, they run a, a frequency, and we find out it's a sleep wave. And it's a sweet sleep wave detector and it goes off and if that's Pikachu <clears throat> and then we have Team Rocket is also finding it as well and basically they find that it's coming from a roof of a huge building and at the top of this huge bit building is a huge mansion on top of this building it's on top of the skyscraper so Ash barges in and basically it's a rich people party like super duper rich and basically it's a drowsy and a hypno that are causing it, and they're the ones that did it. So basically, uh, it's, they didn't, the ritual didn't mean to do it, they were just trying to sleep better. So, um, let's see, so it was a mistake, and then they try to figure out where the kids are, so they use Misty. And Misty thinks she's a seal, and she goes to the park. And then they find the actual kids, and they use Drowsy to help the kids and work them out of that trance. And it works on Misty, and then we have Chamber that tries to steal them, but Hypno tricks itself into uh, the mirror with itself, and it kind of hypnotizes itself. So Ash breaks the mirror, and then uh, Team Rocket grabs them, then has Misty Staryu breaks them free, then we have Pidgeotto sends Team Rocket flying. And then we cut to where um, the Drowsy also cured the Pokemon as well, but Psyduck is still acting weird and gets into Misty's Pokeball and it's hers and she's not happy about it. <laughs> and that was the end of the episode. I give this one A plus because I love how, <laughs> how Ash is so sarcastic towards Misty. <laughs> it's funny to me. Um, I love, like, a little bit of sarcasm in the show. It's so funny, and I really enjoy it. And why do it look so much better with a hat like this? I might actually have to keep doing it like this. Anyway, um, um, let's see. So I gave this a plus, and also we get an introduction of Psyduck. And I thought, I was, I was trying to figure out how she got the Psyduck, because I couldn't remember when I was watching the episode back. I was like, oh, that's how it came into the picture. Okay, cool. So it was a really good episode. I really enjoyed it. And um, we get to see how um, second Pokemon effect can affect kids and Pokemon by accident. So I thought it was a really good episode. I really enjoyed it. So anyway, that's going to do it for this episode, this video. So if you like this video, please give a like, comment down below. Tell me what you think of the episode. Do you agree, disagree? Just send me your thoughts down below. And don't forget to subscribe because that helps out the channel a lot. And don't forget to subscribe because that helps out the channel so much. And I'm pretty sure I said that twice. But anyway, I'll see you on my next video. Bye, everybody.